St. Aloysius Gonzaga, the clean of hands and pure of heart shall climb the mountain of the Lord and stand in his holy place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We welcome you today as we celebrate St. Aloysius Gonzaga, when a young Jesuit uh, priest that served in the community of the Jesuit order. He had a vision early on in life to, to join the Jesuits, but um, his family did not want it. It took 40 years in order for him to, to actually enter that order, but had a great love for the poor, dying at the age of 23, caring for the sick. I said he was a priest. I think he was in training. No, he was a priest at the time. It took four years for his training. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in St. Aloysius Gonzaga joined penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abram went as the Lord directed him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. Abram took his wife, Sarai, his brother's son, Lot, all the possessions that they had accumulated, and the persons they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land as far as the sacred place at Shechem by the Terebinth of Moreh. The Canaanites were then in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. So Abram built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the hill country east of Bethel, pitching his tent with Bethel to the west and Ai to the east. He built an altar there to the Lord and invoked the Lord by name. Then Abram journeyed on by stages to the Negev. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed, Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, 
who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging, that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye who do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye. How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think one of the dangers of modern technology when we come to, like, say, for example, text messaging is that there's mixed messaging. You can write a note to someone in just a few words, but then another meaning could be received by the receiver. I can't tell you the number of times that I try to read a text message multiple times to make sure that I'm not mixed messaging because we live in a texting world. The same thing goes in conversations. Uh, if we're on the phone, we don't see the facial expressions, and sometimes we misinterpret what they mean. And I think our gospel speaks of that. We don't know what's in someone's heart. We can take a guess, take an educated guess. We can reason based on past experiences, but only God knows the real reason for someone's intent and the whole rationale, I guess we'll say, in the wisdom. So our gospel speaks in reality is mind your own garden. Work on your own self. Make yourself all the stronger. Let God worry about the other people. And that's easier said than done. It's a challenge to all of us. But today actually is the first day of summer. The summer stolsis came in last night at about 11 o'clock at night, meaning that you're either going to bed or soon going to bed or hopefully going to bed at around 11 o'clock. So today really is your first full day. And Jesus gives us this message. Don't judge. Let me be the judge. You work on yourself and build your own life. When we look at St. Aloysius Gonzaga, he was someone under 10 years old, for example, that had this vision to join a religious community. And he read about the, the Jesuit order and wanted to join them. He was from a very noble family, and his father was like, no way. I have other plans for you. And in fact, his father judged what he thought his son should do. But God certainly had other plans. That here we are multiple centuries away and also multiple, multiple, we're an ocean away from, from Italy, where St. Aloysius Gonzaga lived and served, dying at the age of 23. And here we remember him among the communion of saints. God has such great plans for all of us. And the only way for us to achieve those plans is to work on ourselves, work on our relationship with God, but hear the message of the gospel. Don't judge others. Let God do the judging. Instead, work on yourself. And when you do, you'll find that you'll be removing different things from your eyes, different things from your temptation level, different things from your mind that help you grow and serve the Lord. And be that person who you were designed to be. There's enough work that we can do on ourselves. There's no time to work on others. Please rise now for the intercessions. Let us approach the throne of the Father and offer him our needs. For the universal church, all who minister, all her members, for all of us, 
May God's grace nourish and strengthen us as we go about our mission this day in our families, in our communities, in our parish, in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace among nations and peace in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to division and intolerance among all people, and also the ability for us to reconcile with each other and work on our own lives to, to be those faithful stewards of God's creation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may God nurture our efforts to grow in lives of holiness through the sacraments, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in faith, we pray for, for Jean Gorney, whose funeral I celebrate tomorrow morning, for, um, uh, for Carl, Carl Switzer, whose funeral is on Saturday at 1, and also for Pauline um, Malchewski, whose funeral I celebrate on Saturday as well. For our Mass intentions today, Fred Foleron, and also um, we pray for Fred's wife, who's here, and the family members, but for Fred and all the faithful departed, may they be trusted with the resources that God has given, and may they rejoice to see his face in glory. And may we meet them again, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As a secondary mass intention, we pray for Melissa Peacecore for continued strength and healing, just to help her get strong and recover, and blessings upon her family, who prays for her and wishes her well, we pray to the Lord. And for those prayers that we voice now in the silence of our hearts. We make these prayers through the intercession of St. Joseph, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, in your mercy, please hear and answer our prayers this day. And we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life, as we God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all, his holy church. Grant also, Lord, that by the example of St. Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. 
Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In our own indirect way, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. God gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels. Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life. And following the example of St. Aloysius, whom we honor today, may we persevere in constant thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.